I, Yahweh, will not spare Israel because her people are more holy. In truth, her sin runs just as rampant. The stench rises to heaven as it does in nations around the world. Not one nation or people are better than the other. I, Yahweh, will not allow Israel to be destroyed completely. For I, Yahweh, have made a covenant with Abraham and his seed. My children who are grafted in by the blood of my son, Yahshua, do not fear. I, Yahweh, will honor the blood covenant that I have with you also. Through the spiritual bloodline of Yahshua, you are Jews also. Those that refuse Yahshua's blood covenant and say it is because they are Jews, those who reject Yahshua as my son and your Messiah, be warned. Since you have refused my gift, I, Yahweh, gave you a Calvary, then those who only believe and have the faith that keep in the Torah and the Sabbath and the feast will save them, I, Yahweh, remind you that without a sin sacrifice, when you do sin, there is no holy sinless offering, and you will be judged not by Yeshua, but by Moses and the laws of Moses. Woe be unto you when this happens. There is no grace or mercy when Moses will judge you at the day of judgment. If it was that easy, do you think I would have sent my beloved son Yahshua to suffer and die in your place? All have sinned and fell short of a perfect creator. How much better for my children who know that they are sinners and yet do the best they can to obey and repent, ask him forgiveness in Yahshua's name, and know that Yahshua is their blood covenant who also will sacrifice for their sins. Yahshua will judge those who have accepted him as such, not the law of Moses, nor Moses. Yahshua will judge the heathen who refuse to live holy lives before me and refuse the only holy sinless blood atonement for sins. Am I unable to deliver and protect you? The plans I, Yahweh, have for you are for good and not for evil. Trust me and stop leaning onto your own understanding. My children acknowledge that I, Yahweh, alone have the answers, and I, Yahweh, promise to direct your path as you walk in my footsteps. Your footsteps walking alone will lead you astray, but my footsteps are sure solid steps that lead to victory. Believe and receive victory. Fight for what you know to be right. There are people that you have been dealing with that I am removing from your life to bring others to encourage and help support you in all ways. Do not say that there is not yet time to do this or that. Instead realize, am I not the father of all time, the keeper of time? I, Yahweh, am time itself. Who else can stop time, speed it up or back it up? Beloved child, and all children of mine who call Yahshua by name and know they can do nothing without that sacred name. I have raised you up for such a time as this. You are part of my hidden anointed ones. Although the enemy will gnash your teeth trying to harm you and they are written down your name, I also have written down their names in the book of damnation. And these evil ones shall spend eternity in the lake of fire reaping for what they are now sowing. I shall prove to my children once again, if you listen to my voice and walk in my footsteps, you will outwit the enemies that seek to destroy you and all my children that are seeking to hear my every word and obey me, or at least strive to, knowing that when they do sin, they have Yahshua's blood for the remission of their sins. I, your father Yahweh, shall confound them with the evil one's own technology. I will confound them with their own inventions for no earthly or scientific reason. The trap set for my children will instead only entrap and boomerang back upon the evil ones that seek the followers of Yahshua's destruction. What I did once before with the evil Pharaoh, I will do it again. By Yahweh's hand alone, the Goliaths of this world shall forever fall. The ones I call evil secret keepers who seek to use the secrets of the occult, demonism, scientific and political knowledge 
and man-made laws to destroy my children and take the freedoms I have given to my children away, I, Yahweh, will have a surprise in store for them. It will confound these evil ones that think themselves wise. They seek to harm my children. I, Yahweh, and my son Yeshua, vow to protect those that are called forth and anointed for this hour. Those seeking to hear my voice clearer than any other voice, these are my true treasures on earth. All who call out to Yahweh and Yeshua and rely on the Ruach Kadash to guide them to a most unusual anointing unlike anything yet seen must realize I am now tuning them and removing all in their lives that must be removed. Yes, even your loved ones must be cleaned or removed by Yahweh's hand for I must protect my beloved ones. If they are not a help to you and instead are a hindrance, then know that I will remove them. For they will betray you, even unto death, for Yahweh does not divide what was never meant to be joined as one. Pray and intercede for your loved ones. But when I tell you to move, and yet do not tell you to take your unsaved loved ones with you, it will be a test of your love for Yahweh. Will you forsake all for me, like when Lot was told to flee? He had no choice to divide from his wife. I turned her into a pillow of salt. I had to show him and his daughters the hard way. I demand obedience, especially when I send an angel to warn, get out, flee, this place is about to be destroyed. Lot's wife fled, but turned her head to look back and grieve for all of the possessions and home and friends in the city. This is a lesson. When I tell you to flee, no matter what, Obey, or Lot's wife's fate will even be my children's fate. Trust me, and know that the plans I have for you are for good and not for evil. I laugh as I hear the plot to the enemy, saying all Christians and Jews will die. Do not the enemies yet understand? Though they try hard to exterminate my people, such as the Roman Empire and Hitler did, the more they sacrifice, the more will raise up. The blood of the saints who are sacrificed only will bring more saints to the kingdom of heaven. So will become Paul's. The enemies are so foolish. Do they not think heaven itself will rail against these demonic enemies and the skies themselves will pour forth my wrath upon my enemies that seek to use a machine that plays God? I am, even now, confounding the enemies in ways you know not. Beware, O enemies of mine, for I shall turn your own creations against you and your loved ones. My children will be spared. How many times already, not only in America but Israel, I have spared these nations in this last month alone. But yea, not only that, but I say even the world would have destroyed itself as one nation plays deadly war games against another nation. And for what? Revenge, greed, power, hungry for more control and power. I, Yahweh alone, promotes and disposes. When my people cry in my son Yeshua's name and cry out for mercy for the nation they live in, as well as those that they don't live in it, how can I deafen my ears, even if I wanted to? You are reading this now because I have extended time for one reason, for the sake of the intercessory prayers that have gone forth, covering this world in my son Yahshua's name. Your ark of safety thus far is a fervent cord of the righteous. I am Yahweh, and there is no other like me, the standard I raise against evil ones that use their weapons to manipulate the brains of my children will find that not only will their weapons malfunction, but instead I shall turn every invention, every machine, every weapon, every disease, all biological weapons and all germ warfare against themselves. Even their own loved ones will be ashamed of them, and the evil ones' own bodies will refuse to live out their years. This is my revenge against those that seek the destruction of Yahweh's believers and of followers of Yeshua. I love you, yes, even those that hate Yahweh. I alone created you, and it will be Yahweh's hand alone sent from heaven that will destroy both your body and your soul, sending it in the lake of fire if you don't repent in prayer. 
asking forgiveness in Yeshua's name. Leave America alone. Leave Israel alone. Leave my children the freedom to worship and serve me in truth and in winter power. I set America apart to be the land of the free and blessed her with no war coming to her shores since the years gone by. America, don't so freely give away what I have blessed you with simply because of fear. Speak up and remain the silent majority no more. Let your voices be heard. Remember, when one loses the freedom of religion and even the wrong are censored, then all are in danger of losing their freedom of religion. Then all are in danger. My children, no, this is not about a religion being taken away. This is about a relationship with Yahweh and Yahshua being changed to a form of religion with a form of godliness but having no godliness within.